Oh, hi guys, welcome back to part two of my 12 by 12 page, Acting the Clown, and now I've just taken some Prima Flowers and Glimmer Mist in two of them with the gold Glimmer Mist spray, and now some red velvet, um, back over that with some, I think I did creme de chocolate, just a tiny bit, and then back over it with some gold, just to get the colour that I'm looking for there, speeding up the drying process with my heat tool. Uh, that's the colour I was looking for there. And now just uh, glimmer misting um, another Prima flower with the English ivy and a bit of gold. bit of the um, red velvet. Now applying some glossy accents to a piece of designer paper um, under a fuffler button and just set it aside to dry. Now taking a dew drop and colouring it with some gold mixative um, ink there. And that's going to go on one of the flowers as the centerpiece. Speeding up the drying process there. Now just um, adhering it to the flower using glossy accents to the top of smaller flower. And then adhering that flower to the larger flower using the glossy accents as well. And now the button has dried and so just cutting around just underneath that um, clear button there and getting a sanding block and sanding the edges underneath so that you can see the designer paper through it. And that's going to be placed on that flower. So just adhering that to the flower with the glossy accents. And that's what that one looks like. And I had two lots of flowers there and decided needed another one. So just placing a brad inside a smaller green flower there. And that's where I'm going to place them and I'm going to adhere them to the page using glue dots. And that's it there. I can still see that it's crooked but anyway I did what I could I think. Now just taking some um, alphabet stickers and just positioning them on my ruler and then attaching them to the page and just making sure they're all, all in alignment um, and now just taking some black thickers, alpha thickers there, and because I didn't have any clear or white thickers, thickers, alphas, so I decided then I would paint them. Um, so, and I wanted them to be a green shade, so I um, gave them a few coats, um, the letters um, that spell the word clown, few coats of white and now applying a couple of coats of um, jade green and you'll see that I've got a pair of gloves on because I get really messy when I paint
and now just taking a shade of orange acrylic paint and I'm using a dry paint brush and just grabbing a bit of paint there and then brushing it most of that paint off the brush so that I get the effect that I want when I dab it onto the letters so it's just like a brushed airbrush type effect so it just shows a hint of the orange through there through the green and that's the um, word clown all done there and that was that they were the figures prior to painting and now just taking some more alpha stickers um, and just putting the word the down and now adhering the word clown um, down to in position on, on the page there and the t this is the title and it actually says acting the clown Okay, that's the title done. Um, and that red and green piece in the middle section of that page was a bit bare looking. I wanted to put something there, I just needed something. So I've just taken a um, word tile and um, it's got the word laugh on it and then just threaded some um, cream ribbon through the holes of that and now attaching it down to that section there with some glossy accents and now just gluing those pieces of ribbon down using the glossy accents as well and taking a few buttons and just positioning those on the page there using some glue dots. Glue dots. And now taking um, some pearlescent chalks to the last flower that I placed on that page I thought it was a bit bright for the theme of the page so I decided to tone it down with a shade of orange chalk so that's toned it down enough Okay, so now the last thing to do is the journaling. So just cutting out some half inch strips of some plain pink cardstock and then just journaling the night. And I like to look at these all cut into um, sections and then adhere to the page. So here I'm just cutting them out, positioning positioning them on the, the bottom left hand corner section there and I've had to take a few of the um, words out and rearrange them so that they all make sense and then um, adhering them down to that area of the page using my glue glider gun. First time I've used that wasn't too impressed with it. Um, the tape doesn't seem to sit in the middle so that you really don't know where the glue is being applied. So that's the journaling bit there and that's the 12 by 12 page complete. Finally. Okay so thanks for watching and please leave a comment and let me know what you thought. Um, yeah, bye.